Okay, uh, Mike and Casey, this is uh, 17511 Casino, contemporary style. It has a detached garage in the back. Stonework here up around the curb. Great oak tree there. Very tall pine. It's very wooded around here in this old neighborhood. Uh, just kind of pan around. This is old uh, part of Cypress Wood. Homes are definitely you know, a little older, but you know, look at that. That's very nice, beautiful yard. Well maintained. Another really pretty house. Very quiet on this end. This house is quite a bit different from ones that we've seen in that it's really contemporary, but uh, it's very, very clean on the inside. So let's go through quickly and hit the high points. They're still celebrating Christmas here, I guess. So. All right, it may be a little bit darker than usual, but here we are at the front door, just to get a view of Pan. Um, hallway goes into the back family room. Staircase here goes up to the second story. Very unusual um, landing and double decker. It's all ceramic tile here. And then over to the right would be the uh, family room, or the formal living, I should say. And got a neat uh, kind of a craftsman style fireplace there. Berber carpet uh, here, which has some kind of wearing and stain there, but not bad. Into the family room, or I'm sorry, the living room. And you had to step up for the dining room with the high vaulted ceiling as you get with these contemporary homes. And here's another view of the really a impressive staircase. Now what's odd to me is that the, uh, the front door is right here and here's the entrance to the master bedroom right off the entrance. And it's a good size room. There's room for uh, even a desk and a big armoire there on the front wall. rather large room. And a unique bath as well. Near the uh, tub and shower area. It's a window on it. The jetted tub. Not sure what the that's doing there. Looking back, here and one sink here, and two separate closets, both with the, these uh, sliding door mirror doors, and well lit uh, ladies and gentlemen's closet. This is the ladies here. Very well organized. And the man's over here. With an even additional storage built in. Okay. And again, the uh, sink with mirrors. And then behind the wall here is the commode area. the bathroom. Let's go into the down the entry hall. And we have a closet to the right for storage. Back in here is to the left is your half bath. Right off 
off of that wall, you walk into the uh, family room here, which has uh, quite a bit of windows across the back. Very contemporary, no, no brick um, building on the fireplace, just ground level. Yeah, pretty, pretty spacious room overall. You see, those are one foot tiles. That's quite a big distance there. And then we'll go back and the gas log feature in there. Let's just pan back towards the other side. And we'll take a look outside. So patio doors here. Trees. Probably looks very nice in the spring. Little walking paths there. All right. And then off this room, there's a uh, little computer niche that they built in. Little office workspace. Well done. To the kitchen. The kitchen's all white, painted cabinets, four mica tops, sort of a black uh, towel. I'm not sure what that is on a oh, just painted black. It's not tile on the backsplash. Um, cabinets here don't seem to close very well. Dishwasher has been replaced and the microwave has been replaced. The cooktop is original. And that's been replaced. Here's your pantry over here. GE Electric, very original to the home, double ovens, very standard developed at that time. And then uh, got this wall over here where the fridge is. Okay. I'm sorry to move so fast, it just takes time. And the breakfast area has been done very contemporarily with um, sort of a Nordic type shelving. Very simple furnitures here. Brick around the island. Or the peninsula there. So overall it looks really nice. Um, and it could even have um, a little small freezer and a TV built in, which they will probably take. And you can see back into the formal dining room back into the living room and over here this wall has the, the utility area washroom washer dryer cabinets okay all right your water heater not sure what's in here Line left. But, uh, I don't think that would be the code. All right, so that's the downstairs. Let's make a quick tour upstairs. I'm running out of foam juice. Okay, so we'll go up these up the stairs. Landing at the top of the stairs, desk, and I'm off of uh, 
here you can see the, the foyer again, living room, and then the dining room there. Over here at the top is a game room. And then very quickly, I'll show you the remaining rooms. There's two more bedrooms, one to the right. Nice floral painting on the wall. Nice closet. And then we'll take a look at the backyard from up here. That was just for a thrill. Next bedroom is right around the door. This is a nice room, good size room actually. Quite a bit of floor space between here and there. And this closet is very big. So you can see it's got all kind of storage space on that side, back wall, and on this one. Okay. And that should do it. Uh, different carpeting here in the hallway between these two floors. So this room will go. Must be a little add on or something just to change the carpeting. And you see some uh, looseness here that needs to be stretched. This one seems to be in really good condition, so uh, cleanliness wise. So that's it for this one.